Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the Aria Buffet. The Aria Hotel is an MGM hotel, so don't forget to take your M Life card. While I was in Vegas, I did film a few buffets, and I have to say that this one was definitely my favourite. I have recorded all the buffets that I went to, so as I post the videos, I'll leave the link in the description box below. One of the reasons that we decided to go to the buffet this day was because my friend absolutely loves seafood. And this was supposed to be one of the buffets with the best seafood in it. Also, when we went to this buffet, it was Memorial Day weekend, so it was a lot more expensive than usual. Even though it was more expensive, I would still say it was worth it. When we looked up the price of this, it was going to be just over $20 per person, but once we got there, it was over $42 per person. But like I said, even at that price, I still thought it was worth it. Obviously, if you don't want to pay that much, just try and visit when it's not a bank holiday. This was the dinner time buffet and this is 3pm to 10pm. There was a 2 for 1 bottomless drink deal on and that was 19 for unlimited drinks for 2 hours. Considering the amount of money you would normally spend on drinks in Vegas, I think that 19 is a bargain. I felt like this buffet really had a good selection of food and if you get a chance to eat some of those mashed potatoes I would definitely recommend them. Those were actually one of my favourite things that I had the whole time I was there. Even though you can't really see it in this video, one of the things that I liked about this buffet was the fact that everything was labelled. We did have some issues in some of the buffets that we visited and you didn't actually have a clue what you were eating and mostly it was just guesswork. I found that there was quite a good selection here for dinner as well. You're probably thinking that $40 a head is too expensive for a buffet, but like I said before, it is usually cheaper than that. And my friend does love seafood. He said that the quality of the seafood at this buffet was worth the price alone. Normally when I go out for something to eat, it's usually for potatoes and cakes, and this buffet had plenty of both. One of the other things that was a bit different about this buffet is that you didn't go and get your own drinks. Someone came to the table either with like a pitcher of drink or just filled your glasses up for you. The Carvery section had absolutely loads of options and some of the buffets that we went to they only had turkey and ham. My friend was absolutely loving the seafood section. He says that all the prawns had the shells took off them and it was all so fresh. As you can see here they're not exactly stingy and there was also giant crab legs as well. As you can see here, the cakes are quite small, but I think that's just to prevent waste. There's nothing to stop you going up and helping yourself to more. The cakes in this buffet were also a little bit fancier than some of the other ones that we'd seen. By the end, I was too full to try all of these, but I did have a few, and the ones that I did taste were really nice. I would highly recommend visiting the area buffet if you get a chance. As you can see here, the desserts all look really nice. Have you been to the Aria Buffet? What did you think of it? If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Don't forget to leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.